time for KWSC News. I'm Miley. And I'm Avery. And, and today, today is Tuesday, February 27th, 2024. It's the 113th day of school. Let's stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. At WSE, we reach for the stars. We are safe, respectful, and responsible. Good morning. We've been talking about the feelings of others. There's another way I want to talk about how we can be empathetic to others. And it's something that you learn in kindergarten. You actually learn it before kindergarten. But sometimes you need to be reminded. Should you share your things? Yeah. Being someone that shares is just being a good person. If you're selfish with stuff, it's just kind of rotten. There are some things, yes, that you shouldn't share. You shouldn't share your food or your drinks or your comb or your chapstick. There are some things you don't share. But what about the classroom markers? I mean, they're not even yours anyway, right? They belong to the classroom. So if you're using it, shouldn't you be sharing it? Because it belongs to the classroom. Or what about when you're at PE and you're playing with a basketball and you say, no, that one's mine. Is it? It belongs to the school, so you should be sharing it. Don't start thinking that things belong to you just because you're using it at the time. Be a person that shares their stuff because everyone wants to be around people that share their stuff. And there's something to think about. Have a great day or not, the choice is yours. Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Here's Mrs. Winters coming at you with your Tuesday ticket update. We have six classes to celebrate today. Let's get to some celebrations. Congratulations, 300 tickets to Miss McGovern's class and Mrs. Rogers' class. We have 400 tickets for Miss Cheadle's class and Mrs. Downey's class. And with 500 tickets, we have Mrs. Downey and Mrs. Cheadle also. Hope you have a great week. Keep earning those star tickets. Don't forget, you can subscribe to Walnut Springs Announcements on YouTube. And now for the Lunch Choices, Birthdays, and Daily Joke. This is my lead and Reese. Here are the Lunch Choices for tomorrow. February 28th, Wednesday. Toys 1, Down Home Chicken and Waffles. Toys 2, Cheese Quesadilla. Toys 3, Vegetable Garden Salad with Crackers. Toys 4, Turkey Sandwich. And now for the birthdays for today, February 27th. We have no birthdays to celebrate today. Bummer. This is Avery and Reese. And now for the daily joke. Tuesday. What do you think of that new diner on the moon? I don't know. What do you think? The food was good, but there really wasn't much atmosphere. <laughs> What's happening? Hey everyone, as a part of Read Across America, the library is having a potato patch. That's right. Let's celebrate spring and reading with a potato patch in the library. So directions, you'll need a potato. You can decorate and dress and paint your potato to look like a character from a children's story. Stand the potato up using like a styrofoam cup or a, a, a little, little ring of paper. You can add an optional background setting for your potato. Make sure you include your character's name, the book title, your first and last name, and your teacher's name on an index card, or you can fill out the form below with your potato information. 
Bring the book if possible. Take your potato book character to the library on Monday, March 4th. The last day to turn in a potato is Tuesday, March 5th. Potatoes will be displayed in the library as a part of Read Across America Week. All potatoes should be taken home on Friday, March 8th for spring break. So remember, if you participate, your name will be put in for a drawing. And I'm going to choose a winner for each grade level. One winner, and they'll get $10 to spend. So get those potatoes. I can't wait to see our potato patch in the library. It's real mobile day. Volunteers will be by to pick up participating students starting at 2 p.m. Participating students should return their public library books so they can get something new from the Rio. Friday is third grade market day. It'll be during all lunches. Prices start at 25 cents and there'll be all kinds of things to buy that the third graders have made. All students are invited to shop at the third grade market during their lunchtime on Friday, March 1st. Bring your money, there'll be slime, pet rocks, puppets, stress balls, bounty balls, paintings, catapults, stuffies, and so much more. Hey guys, next week we'll be dressing up every day for Read Across America. Well, Saturday is Dr. Seuss's birthday. So we're going to kick things off by having a hat day on Friday, March 1st. You can wear a Dr. Seuss hat if you have one or any of your special hats. So don't forget, Friday we're kicking off Read Across America by wearing hats. Let's see what today's weather will be. Hi everyone, here's your weather for today, Tuesday. The high for today is 87 and the low for today is 64. It's going to be mostly cloudy. Stay tuned for Book Talk Tuesday and have an awesome day, unicorns. Be safe, respectful, and responsible. See you next time. This Thursday is February 29th. It's Leap Day. How about celebrating by checking out a frog book in the library? I've got nonfiction and I've got fiction frog books that you can check out. So let's celebrate leap year by checking out a book about frogs. Next week is Read Across America and to celebrate Dr. Seuss we're going to be wearing hats on Friday. His birthday's on Saturday. So come to the library. We've got lots of books by Dr. Seuss that you can check out. And don't forget the ones up here. Please turn off this presentation. Please turn off this presentation. Have a great day.